kind of give you a background on Rab, the brand. So that's kind of our heritage is sleeping bags, down jackets. We do a lot of responsible downsourcing when it comes to all of our down bags. So our bags, they get hand filled in the UK. We source all the down loose. We'll hand fill them as they get ordered and then they get literally just folded over and put in a huge cloth bag like this and this is how it ships in the container. Gotcha. So when it arrives to you uh, and however you guys decide to ship it to end consumer, it's not compressed. So something like this Neutrino 600 is gonna show up and customer is gonna open it up and they're just like, wow, look at the loft yeah. on this thing. Nice. Um, so that's something kind of unique to us as well. Uh, when we hand film, it's also in a uh, controlled environment. So it's not like a humid environment if it were filled somewhere else. Uh, Cause that way when it kind of dries out and it shows up in the desert out here, like they would kind of like shrink down a little gotcha. bit. I think more of your guys' bread and butter is gonna be more like the Neutrino Pro 600. I brought a Neutrino 400, which is actually our best seller. So the Neutrino 600, we have a whole Neutrino series, uh, 600, 400, and it goes down. Anything with the Pro, Neutrino <clears throat> Pro, it has a little bit of a waterproof um, finish to it, fluoro free DWR finish, so it's a little bit more um, eco friendly. With like the Neutrino 600 and 400, it's all a um, 800 fill down. And then some of the cool, unique things we do that are different than a lot of brands, you'll notice like the chevroning um, in here mm -hmm. instead of just like straight across. Yeah. Uh, and what that does. Uh, if you were to like shake the bag or just the natural movement of the bag, it, it naturally refocuses down to the center of the bag. So it's over your, your body and your core as you're sleeping where you need yeah. the warmth. Um, we also do box wall construction. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with, with that, but the difference between like a stitch through, a stitch through would just be this material or like this with stretching, stitching just straight through. Mm -hmm. So it creates these pinched points uh, and it's a place for heat to escape. It's a place for down feathers to escape. Um, so we do a box wall construction, which is basically like each baffle is like this, like each of these chambers. And so that allows more th thickness to the bag. Gotcha. There's no place for like heat to escape. Yeah. There's no place for uh, feathers to escape. Oh, yeah. uh, we also do a little down baffle on the inside of the zipper to keep heat from escaping outside of the zipper. Uh, you have a nice collar around the neck and then uh, a nice little hidden pocket here. It is um, hidden. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot for a second too. I'm like, wait a minute, where is it? Um, if you want to put a cell phone or a snack or whatever, a car key, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like to always have like my phone inside my bag if it's really cold at night so it's not yeah. freezing. This is the Neutrino Pro 600. Um, like I said, it has a little bit of that more durable and water resistant face fabric. And then you get into our Neutrino 400, which is going to be, it's not going to have that um, DWR finish to it, uh, but it will, um, still have a, a pretty similar denier fabric, so it's mm -hmm. nice and lightweight, really packable. Uh, it's still an 800 uh, fill power loft to it, but a little bit less expensive, a little bit more packable. Gotcha. Um, this is our number one seller nationwide, so I think this could be a great fit for you guys if you were to kind of... Yeah. We do a shark fin toe box. Instead of it just being like a regular end of a sleeping bag, we kind of have this like shape. You can kind of see it's like yeah. uh, sticks out a little bit like that. Because most people when they sleep, their feet are kind of like that. They're not yeah, just yeah. like pointed straight up. Yeah. They're like, so it's a little bit more ergonomic for your body. Um, but also uh, it doesn't create, if your toes are just straight up, it would create like a pinch point and the down would wear away and you'd end up with cold toes. Um, so they do a shape of your body a little bit. So more down and insulations on top of your feet. Awesome. So that's the Neutrino 400. And then we get into the Ascent series. And you're getting into a European duck down. Gotcha. So price point. Uh, is you know really what you're going after here. This is the 300, it goes all the way up to the 1100, which is closer to like a zero degree bag. You can okay. be closer to like a 40 degree bag here. Okay. But the prices are really competitive. One thing you'll notice, it's not as much of a mummy shape and yeah. it's a little bit larger, yeah. um, wider body as well. So what's, I mean, what's the real difference between, other than price, like between goose down and duck down. I mean, price is going to be the biggest difference. Yeah. Um, it's also not going to have as much loft. So your warmth okay. to weight ratio gotcha. um, is really what you're getting out of the goose. And then, I mean, the thing consumers are going to notice the most is is the, uh, the cost. You're going to need more material in here to, uh, to create the same uh, warmth rating as, gotcha. uh, as a gotcha. uh, goose down bag. So comparable bags would be, this would be heavier than that. Correct. At the same temperature rating. Correct. But you might be in a 300 or $350 price point 
versus like a 500 or 550. So yeah. it kind of depends what your customer wants. There's always like yeah. sacrifice, compromise. Like, yep. are they just car camping or they're like pulling up the truck and going to their cabin or are they hiking in 20 miles yeah. while they're hunting and they want something super lightweight, which yeah. could also be like that Mythic Ultra or something like that. But I mean, this still packs up yeah. pretty reasonably small, uh, just not as much as like a synthetic bag. So yeah, I mean, you have like full draw cords on everything, you know, nice. Um, protect it like zipper, you know, keep it from bunching up as you're working with the zipper here. You have that neck collar, it keeps the air from like moving in and out. Yeah. And then our, our solar, which is our synthetic price point, we do a, a one, solar one, two, three, four, and it's basically, you know, a 20 to a 40 degree, kind of for five degree in increments there. But again, we still put some of those same technologies in here. And, um, they're nice and packable. You still get your little zipper, hidden zipper in here. Um, nice little chamber around your neck, a collar to keep the air from coming up um, out of the bag. But um, you're getting down into like a hundred twenty to hundred fifty dollar price gotcha. point. Yeah, and I, I mean it's not as heavy as I was maybe envisioning uh -huh. for a synthetic bag. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one. So we have a one, two, three, four. Um, so it's going to be the lighter of the four. Mm -hmm.